Hey everyone, and for this lesson, we're going to see the flatness effect. The frame offset is going to, uh, let me read from the Maya help, a per clump value used to orient the following effect. So it's going just to orient the value. We are not going to see this one. And we are going to see the flatness effect. The flatness effect is quite uh, intuitive. Let's me put the value of one to have a lower value there, maybe 1.1. And the flatness effect, it's going to flat out the groom. So you're going to see each clump, it's going to be flattened out. And you can see here, it's completely flat. So you can control how flat you want your groom to be. Uh, it could lead to intersections that you can see here. You can see how the hair is intersecting with each other. This looks weird on the renders. As you can see here, there's a division there. And you're going to see that and more obviously on the render. So this is just a control for the flatness. I do not like to use it a lot. Even I, I kind of never use that one because I like to have uh, chubby clumps. But that's up to your decision. If there's a kind of wet look, it could be better to have a flatness effect due to the water effect and the dropping. So you can map that one out as also you can map everything out here in, in Exune. And we're going to see the offset effect. The offset effect maps how much do you want to offset your clump from the actual clump guide. So you can offset, let's put a value, a value of zero here. You can see how the clump is starting to affect. Let's put a value of two, a value of one. Okay, and it's just the value that says, let me put the noise off. This was in a value of five for you to see better this effect. What it's going to do is to change the distance between the guide and the clump. And this is to add the effect of the curves. You can see them here. It's just offset the, the clump from the value from the guide and this is a better effect for uh, the spirals and the core effect. And we now are going to see the curls. The curl is actually a great, great effector or great modifier. Let me put the value of one. As you can see here, the value is a neutral value of 0.5. And you can see how the curls are starting to appear and we have a really nice effect here. And with the offset on zero, you can see how the offset, the value does not go over the strand. But if I put a value of one here, it's going to move away the value from the guide. And it's going to make me or help me to uh, see the curves. You can see them here. I can create five curves, maybe four if I want a lower value or one if I just want some of the effects here and I can make the nice effect to have just the curves on the tips and just on some parts of the actual hair you can see here and I have a lovely effect around here that the guides are kind of intersecting so you can actually control how the hair looks over the curve and the interpolation of the hair so this is a really nice effect you can control everything around here and if you want your hair to move away with the curves, you can just add that one there and you can see how the curling effect start to work uh, from the tip and you can define how the curve works from the offset. So these two are completely related and you can control each of them separately. And also you can always mask them and you can create some offsets and effects. This will be all for this lesson of offset and curve and flatness if you want to flat out things a little bit. So the curves are going to look more like kind of belts or something like that. You can simulate great effects with it. And that will be all for this lesson. And remember that everything works great and you can add some noises to add some variations. And that will be all for this lesson on the clump modifier. And with that, we check everything and we have all the clump uh, options done already. The last one that is going to be about clumps is going to be about clump layering effects.
So thank you for following this tutorial and see you on the next lesson.